welcome to the Breaking Bitcoin Market Update. It's Monday, July 26, 2021. Welcome one and all to your favorite two hours in crypto podcasting, all things technical analysis and uh, market review. We're back. We're back this Monday, guys. Sorry for missing the Friday installment. Something came up on my schedule. I was planning to at least make the show before I uh, got to other business, of course, but things came up a little earlier, guys. I had to can Friday's show, but we're back now on the Monday, and of course, joined, as always, by two of CC's lead analysts, one of which, of course, was uh, missing all of last week, I think. Maybe all last, was all last week or just a part of that? Either way. Yeah, pretty, pretty much all last week. Well, yeah. even even the CC workhorses in need a break. Jason is back. Hope you had a good uh, good week, good vacation. I had an amazing vacation, to be honest with you. Like vacation, got to relax, and the signals that we put out were going well. So even when we're on vacation, we're killing it. I like that. I like that. How about uh, Alex? How are you doing this afternoon? How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was really great. I hung out with friends. I I did some business stuff, I guess. Business? And it, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I was like at a party and then and then talk turned to business, but networking. Really yeah. Networking stuff, I guess. Anyway, nice. um and then of course uh we nailed a bunch of trades uh on uh in the group finally that's it's nice it's been it's been a choppy month you know we've basically been breaking even at best for the last couple of months so but we we've uh, we really caught some really nice long trends first bottom feeder hitting early last week and then uh we put up a we put up a bitcoin long friday which uh, just hit take profit 3 today uh, yeah. D-Rep hitting Take Profit 3, CHR hitting Take Profit 3, a few others. Uh, yeah. Wow. Overall, everything going well. Damn, what hell of a weekend if we swept all the Take Profits. I guess congrats uh, for, uh, yeah, the signals really coming through. Yeah, pretty much everything in a no-loss position right now with Bitcoin, Aave, uh, Zem, and then all the ones uh, Alex just named as well. So, yeah, good uh, good week for signals for sure. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. Well, in that case, uh, let's get into it, guys. You know how the next two hours is going to unfold. We have, of course, um, yes, we're of course going to get from this intro, guys, into the main analysis. Well, sorry, not first the intro, then we get into the news. I do have a poll to share with you guys today. We're going to take a quick look at that in a few minutes, and then, of course, shout out the audience before we get into the main analysis. I look forward, of course, to reviewing what's going on in the markets, see what the Dixie's up to, uh, see see if uh, this week, you know, kind of opened up with a bang for Bitcoin and crypto markets. Curious what's going on in traditionals. All right. With that said, we're going to, of course, uh, get into your uh, requests by the second hour of the show. We're going to go for two, full two hours today, as always. And uh, yeah, get your requests in. We'll slowly add them to the list as time goes on. And the chest opening... One hour, 45 minutes into the show. In the meantime, go hop into my trading view and see what the price action looks like. You were, of course, like Jason, who might have been away. Jason, uh, on your vacation, how often were you uh, looking at your, your phone, checking in on the price, or are you just kind of checked out for a bit? Or he's even checked out now. Um, wow. Sorry, was that, was that to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was asking you. Um, how much no, did you yeah, look at your phone when you were, uh, or did you check the prices at all while you were, uh, you know, on the lake fishing? Or And then you come home to a nice surprise seeing Bitcoin 39K and pushing yesterday? Or uh, were you not really well, looking at it at all? Yesterday, um, I wasn't actually, because we had just got back home from vacation and then had to go out to lunch with some friends. So I didn't really look at it at all, no. And then I, I kind of... I got a message from someone texted me. He's like, "Are you seeing this?" And then I looked at my phone. I'm like, "Oh, thank God, we're finally doing it!" Like, it's only taken like what a month and a half to get this movement to the upside that we thought we were gonna get. Totally. Uh, here it's is when you're least thinking about it. The volume, yeah, indeed. It, uh, of course, we did recover from last week's panic. Remember this dip below. A lot of people, of course, freaking out when Bitcoin uh, closed the daily candle last week uh, below 30k. But uh, clearly, that was uh, that was an opportunity to buy, and buy it did. And let me tell you, the volume really came in on this move today. Or you know, what what exactly did the thing really pop off? I guess 
uh, sometime yesterday, early today. Um, the Supposedly, volume... it up? popped off on the news that Amazon would yes. be accepted. Yes, that's what's being credited at least. Yeah, I told I... you, it, it always finds something to follow, like the news. Yeah. Indeed. I um, mean, our systems had all already fired long. Was it the yeah. news? Was it? Yeah, because mm. I took the initial 12-hour signal that I got back a while ago, mm -hmm. and we've just continued up. So it's been a beautiful, beautiful place so far. And the yeah. angle of attack is pretty high. So, I mean, there there is a possibility that we get continuation out of this. Just uh, That's why I posted into the market analysis today that I was looking at the weekly because that shelf of uh, resistance, I think, is sitting around 48. So yes. if we do get continuation, that'll be, uh, that'll be pretty painful for the people trying to short right now. Uh, so On you're... the other hand, the weekly just opened, so... That too. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm saying I'm monitoring the daily and the weekly in that break. We won't know anything until next week, probably. Yeah. Uh, so Jason, oh uh, yeah, we're taking a look at the Bitcoin on the weekly right now. We're gonna, I'm gonna get through this quick price analysis, but of course, uh, yeah, uh, Jason, you see resistance around 48k. Uh, yeah. Think is... uh, just looking at the weekly, I think mm -hmm. that there's a good shelf of resistance sitting there around the the 48 range. Yep. Uh, yep. Here's a look at the weekly. After all, makes one wonder: Are we finally pulling out of this downtrend? Is um, you know, is this going to be? That looks like a strong reversal, right? If we close anything like that, like uh, we would have to close this week down, like for me to, yeah, for me to I be agree. worried. Yep. The bull market apparently isn't up yet, but uh, whoops, let me get rid of this little drawing here. Um, yeah, well, guess we'll see what comes next. All right, I can't dwell too much on the price action. I'm sure you guys have been glued to your terminals potentially over the weekend, seeing, well, over the weekend, over the last 24 hours, seeing this thing pop off. And indeed, we've climbed um, decisively out of last week's panic. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum looking pretty similar to the BTC chart anything if you want to consider this zone here some type of uh, resistance around 2300 kind of poking our head out above it right now and yeah it's nice to see after you know volumes have been pretty lazy in the last few weeks or months nice to see the uh the volume come online here here look take a look at you know wada as well just like bitcoin finally peeking above the filter here's minx going long it's uh Looking bullish. Let's have a look here. Ethereum, Bitcoin. How did Ethereum, Bitcoin pairing fare in all this? Well, if I were to take a snap judgment here, looks like uh, Bitcoin has outperformed Ethereum uh, in this whole move. Yeah, and a lot of people crediting this Amazon Bitcoin news. Uh, so I guess this is what you get. All right. Uh, EOS USDT. All right. Uh, yeah, looking a bit like the uh, Bitcoin chart. 387. Wada not quite there yet. Let's have a look at XRP. XRP, 66 cents. Man, things are looking pretty similar across the board. Volume and everything coming online. Here's a look at DOT, currently uh, 1467. Quick look at Kusama over at 196. And this looks like a. Uh, well, here's Minx firing along off today. Wada not quite there yet. Here's a look at Cardano, currently at $1.33. Looks like uh, it also surged on the back of this big Bitcoin move, currently up about 9% on the day. All right, very briefly now, here's a look at Doge. And indeed, I guess this was the break of the trend. And here goes Doge at $0.22. Cents. Let's see here from last week's lows. Doge is up about 30%. Not... Not too shabby. There's hope still for Doge. Mate, will we will we not see the uh, the seven? Here we go. What do we got? The seven cent prediction I have drawn out here. Hmm. Is Do Doge's market cap never gonna go back to where it was? Uh, gold. What's the gold trend up to? Of course, I'm gonna let Alex get into this and expand on this a little bit. But yeah, looks like gold. Uh, kind of sideways, kind of trending downwards. Check the Dixie out. Ah, is the Dixie finally topped? I want to say no more because I do like hearing Alex's thoughts on the Dixie and traditionals. Dow Jones, all-time highs. And S&P, all-time highs today, boys. Certainly live in magical and unprecedented Ooh, wow. times. Certainly. That all right. is just what we want to see. Hello. It is, too. Yep. Yes. Yes, the bull market's back, baby. We can only hope. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. 
Come again? I said, wow. Just wow. It, uh, does it rise to the levels of ooh la rating? Uh, we'll see. Okay. I have, take a, I have to take a closer pink underneath the skirt of the markets. We'll see. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, say no more. Let's hop into the bubbles today. And indeed, it's uh, it's a pretty green and frothy day in the alt space. A lot of big gainers today. Uh, looks like AMP, well, last time I checked, AMP was up 50% according to uh, bubbles. So there must be some volatility in, in the day. But still, DOT, one of the top, or sorry, AMP, one of the top gainers of the day, up almost 35%. BitTorrent token up nearly uh, 29%. Rune, 27%. Vet, up 20%. And uh, a lot of your favorites up here. Synthetics, up nearly 25%. And everything else, up pretty much double digits. Uh, it's uh, a very green day in the alt markets. Only a couple losers giving back a little bit today. Damn, Axie Infinity down 16%. Oh, 10% today. Of course, it was a big runner last week, so... Uh, it's uh, it's given a little back today. Leo, yes, the Bitfinex token down about uh, 10%. Flow down 8%. But everything else looks pretty good. Uh, renewed. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of things have been pulled up here by Bitcoin. Yep. Not every alt has held against Bitcoin in yep. this spot. You know, and that's that's an issue. Um, yeah, let's flip this to Bitcoin pairings. It tells a totally different picture. Don't do this too often with bubbles, but uh, let's. Uh, this is what Alex is observing, and indeed, you can see versus Bitcoin, uh, a lot of these are actually down. Now, AMP still, yes, some of the top leaders of today, the likes of AMP, BitTorrent Token, and Rune, and Synthetics are all up against Bitcoin, but not uh, not everyone else makes the same cut. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Bitcoin definitely a standout performer in this market. All right, there is a brief look at bubbles. Let's go ahead and yeah, let's get into the news, I guess. Then I'll introduce the poll and then we're going to get the show started. Uh, let's do it. All right. My leading headliner today, this is coming from the Block Crypto. Let me just hide this. Welcome to Bybit bonus. Thank you. Uh, nearly 900 million in crypto short positions are liquidated as Bitcoin broke through 39k. Damn. Are you were you amongst the 900 million wrecked out there? We certainly hope not. Crypto short positions worth 883 million have been liquidated over the past 12 hours amid Bitcoin's 12% breakout. Data from Bybit shows no. This is BYBT shows that uh, short positions on Bitcoin accounted for 81% of those liquidated, with 722 million dollars totally liquidated. Majority of Bitcoin and overall crypto short liquidations happened over the past four hours when Bitcoin's price started to see a surge. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so so night. if uh, if short positions accounted for 81%. Um, how exactly did so many long people get wrecked? I presume it was uh, lower time frame, high leverage gambling. Long. Yeah, somebody trying to long the top on some uh, low time frame candle, right? And then getting wrecked at some leverage. Guys, speaking of leverage, I got an FTX story lined up as well. Yeah, I guess something uh, something like this on the 15 minute can. Heck, even longing up here, you know, if people piled into a long on this 15 minute wick here, um. Yeah, it's this... just silly. You shouldn't be touching that kind of leverage because the the odds of it just going straight in the direction that you want it without any retracement on a 100x long is so low that even if you are right, you're likely to get a retracement that's going to wick you out. You know, who can really 100x long anymore? Um, Not with this ball, Binance and FTX just uh, capped their leverage at 20x this weekend. Uh, well, not from my buy bid, apparently. Or not for my bit yet. Not for my bit yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give up. Give them the rest of the week. I mean, come on. Yeah. If Binance and FTX do it, I think they should. I think they should take it down yeah. because I think it's just they're floating it out there for people who don't know what they're doing. Yep, it's for the most degenerate yeah, of so gamblers. Binance is more than gambling. It's like buying a losing lottery ticket on purpose. It's, yeah, like, like you know, it's a loser. It's, it's, I don't have a good analogy. It's you know, set set your set your money on fire. But you don't even get the warmth from it. Yeah, you don't even get the fire. <laughs> it's yeah. like putting money through a, a, a either a wood chip or a paper shredder. 
Yeah, if you longed somewhere near the top of the volatility, you FOMO'd into, say, even just a 20x um, leverage position would have got liquidated in the subsequent price action on lower time frames. So, yeah, I can see why 20% of the people somehow blew out accounts uh, being long in the midst of this move. How is it possible? Well, it totally is. I bet some people are pretty sour about that. All right, uh, let's get into the next piece because, uh, yeah, this one, of course, is what a lot of people are touting as uh, pouring the, 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 the rocket fuel on this move. Uh, Amazon's Bitcoin payment rumors spark market euphoria. The rumors of a crypto payments and a native token from Amazon, though, remain doubtful. Let's see here. Rumors have emerged that e-commerce giant Amazon is lining up crypto payments as well as a native crypto token. However, official sources are yet to confirm this information. So this is highly speculatory. This could all be uh, BS. But let's see who exactly f corroborated or at least uh, floated this idea. All right, apparently it's a London newspaper. Crypto markets rallied Sunday night following rumors that e-commerce giant Amazon plans to accept crypto payments and may even launch its own native token. No official sources confirmed this information. The report originated from London business newspaper City AM and has since been referenced by numerous publications. City AM posed posted an interview with Amazon Insider who stated that the company is looking to accept Bitcoin payments. All right, guys, are we going to find out in the next week that this entire thing was complete fake news BS? Amazon yep. Insider reveals uh, Amazon's looking to accept Bitcoin. How many times have we maybe heard rumors of this in the past? Nonetheless, apparently this time it was taken for real. Uh, quote from this insider, by the end of the year, end quote, it's planning its own token for 2022 as well. All right, so by the end of the year, we might accept. Uh, so this year's Christmas shopping you might be doing with Bitcoin payments at Amazon, fat chance, but uh, that's what he's floating. And of course, its own token by 2022. Uh, additionally, the insider claimed that the recent move towards crypto integration is coming from Jeff Bezos himself, end quote, despite Bezos stepping down as Amazon CEO back in July 25th. All right. Yeah, so Bezos himself. His trip to space has left him a changed man. <laughs> Must have been those gamma rays coming in through the uh, thin yeah. shielding of the hull. Uh, it's fried his brain, and now he's uh, he's fully on board with Amazon coin. If we're, lucky, been, if we're lucky, he's been replaced by an alien. Uh, I'm I'm down an with alien that. Alien lizard lord. Yes, is, they can have the original. Is this the uh, is the alien's name by any chance Satoshi? Came to yeah. him in his sleep and. Uh, exalted the virtues of bitcoin to him uh but let's continue here the news sparked excitement on twitter as users con uh, connected rumors to bitcoin's sunday night rally to 40k however experts uh remain skeptical commenting that amazon insider is unlikely to talk to him yeah i agree this whole thing seems uh super thin guys um this uh this whole thing um yeah it makes really, me feel really good about the whole uh scenario that i've been plotting out on that like that buying pressure to the upside is we finally got it and now everyone's scrambling to tell us why it happened and this might not even be real like you know like if it turns out not to be people are gonna be like well then why did it do it like there's no real reason like <laughs> but yep well then the news seems to follow the price action but alas guys that's that's what we have for you today uh let's have a look another another bit of fud brewing again as always you know fud central tether Responding to a Bloomberg report about a criminal probe into Tether, yes. Um, all right, so let's see here. So Bloomberg dropped this story, uh, what was it, earlier today? Let me see, exactly, July 26, 9 a.m. Yep, earlier today, uh, Bloomberg drops this story. Tether executives are said to face criminal probe into banking fraud. The Department of Justice, that's here in the U.S., examining whether banks were misled about crypto businesses. Tether says it's committed to cooperating with law enforcement. Oh, this isn't good. This usually is a huge red flag. U.S. probe into Tether, one of many. But this one, this time, we've seen the, the New York Attorney General um, seemingly kind of uh, letting letting this that one go. We had they were under the uh, the microscope of the uh, New York AG. Uh, I think most of that got solved, didn't it? Most of that problem go away. I think they mostly got rid of. It. But now here comes the DOJ stepping into the room, and uh, Tether might be in trouble again. The FUD is ratcheting up today. Alex, sorry, you were going to say something? No. All right, stable, stable coin issuer Tether has issued a statement about the bombshell Bloomberg report, which states that its executives are under investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice. The company claims that the article is repackaging stale claims 
for a news story that will generate clicks. Hey, it's so hard to get a bearing as to what is bullshit or not out there. Tether also reiterated its commitment to cooperating with U.S. government and other governments around the world. Here is just a brief uh, glimpse at their uh, uh, comment here. Proud of our role in the industry as leaders, promoting cooperation between government authorities and innovating, da 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 basically fluff. Um, all right, so what more is there really to add to this? More tether FUD, apparently not really, definitely not, uh, not, and not really causing any issues with, uh, with Bitcoin. Price seems to be rallying otherwise. Anybody, or is this, you know, is, here, here's a theory, you know, the Amazon story seems razor thin. Maybe, maybe this, uh, this US probe into tether has more to do with this pump than, uh, than anything else. Maybe, uh, I mean, think about it, if you're holding a bag of tether. And you know you have any concern at all that tether may be insolvent or u worthless tomorrow? Uh, what do you do? What else are you gonna exit into? Maybe Bitcoin? Maybe USDC? Maybe this is why we're seeing a pressure on Bitcoin's price to the upside. Again, maybe maybe more more substance to this uh, theory than uh, than the Amazon one. Let's have a look here. All right, yes, this article more or less the same deal. So basically, uh, why are they under, investi under investigation for? Uh, whether the banks were aware of crypto-based transactions carried out by Tether. All right. And Let's take this. They were, Tether, the Tether founders were recently on CNBC. And man, oh man, did they not want to answer any of that reporter's questions. I wish we could show it, but it's like a 10 minute long, 15 minute long thing. But you guys can go and find it yourself. It's very recent. It's the last week or so. And man, they just really come across as crooks. And you can, and this is on YouTube. You can see in the in the chat in the in the super chat over in the right, like people aren't having it. They're just, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can believe it. Uh, yes, just just to clarify, one other thing I mentioned earlier: after a long legal tussle between the company and the office of the New York Attorney General since dating back to April 2019, Tether and the crypto exchange Bitfinex reached a settlement deal with the New York Attorney General. So indeed, this has been, I mean, these, this legal matter has been put behind them. And just as a reminder, as part of the deal, both companies paid about $18.5 million in penalties and also agreed to stop servicing New York customers. All right, so, you know, they, they got the uh, New York AG off their back, and here comes the DOJ looking into uh, any funny business over there. Very well, it could uh, just end, what, in another fine... Another, I mean, they've already, again, like Alex just mentioned, the executives already surrendered to uh, U.S. authorities, so um, maybe maybe they will find an, an amicable, I guess, uh, resolution to all this. Maybe avoid jail time, maybe avoid complete destruction of Bitfinex and Tether. I guess we will see the stable coins, of course, are in the regulatory sites. Check the time here. All right, got a couple more minutes left. Let's read another item or two here. U.Today writes, the first ever EOS-based exit scam mastermind is going to spend more than four years in jail. All right, have you ever been rug pulled? Have you ever been exit scammed by a project? All right, let's let's uh, let's be honest. You'd like to see those guys uh, maybe get their uh, comeuppance. But rarely, if ever, do they eventually, you know, finally do see uh, any kind of legal repercussions. In this case, we have one very rare example. Man, I mean, I didn't realize there is even, I mean, of all the places, of all the chains, you know, to, to get busted, uh, EOS, Air, uh, uh, the, the organizers of the Emerald Coin, EMD, exit scam, will spend four years. Yes, an Ethereum exit scam. Um, when will we see a BSC token or an Ethereum kind of token? Um developer or a team get busted funny that this happened to land on the eos i guess is what i'm saying but let's have a look here according from information from a chinese journalist and an insider uh, at coin a court in china okay so this is in china a court in china sentenced emerald coin founder to severe penalties uh how long did it take for police to catch the scammers all right, so this was shared. Uh, this is an article shared by local Chinese media outlet. It discusses the punishment doled out by the EMD scam master masterminds, or to the masterminds. Beneficiaries of the fraud will spend the next 54 months in prison. All right, so in this case, a man was issued uh, vir the man who issued the virtual currency Emerald tokens and absorbed more than two million US dollars uh, a day. I wonder how much he got away with in the end. Then he shut down the website, and the court sentenced him to four years and six months. 
Rodster and his four teammates will restore the two and a half million stolen from investors. All right, so I guess uh, somebody might get some money back. Finally, a hundred million dollar Chinese uh, Chinese CNY, the Yemeni Rem Remembi CNY, uh, will be paid in fines for illegal access to information. All right, so so this might, might not happen here in the Western world, but hey, at least in China, somebody got wrecked. I guess now it's more appropriate uh, to see an EOS. Uh, an EOS token being that it is in a Chinese kind of um, backdrop here. Well, best of luck to, uh, to the scammers. You're going to need it. I'm sure five-year stint in a Chinese jail is going to be uh, probably not the most comfortable setting. All right, another item or two here. Um, and yeah, let's wrap this up maybe on this story here. Being in crypto reporting on Uniswap Labs enforcing restrictions to certain tokens. Hmm, I thought this was supposed to be a decentralized exchange. Let's have a look here. Uh, soft, uh, on July 23rd, Uniswap uh, issued a tweet reading, As of today, we have started restricting access to a small number of tokens over at Uniswap.org. These changes pertain to the interface uh, the swap protocol remains entirely uh, autonomous, immutable, and permissionless. Okay. Uh, the update linked to an official post on the company's blog, which elaborated on the decision further. In the past, Uniswap Labs asserted that their actions were consistent with those of other decentralized finance interfaces. They also said the tokens in question have always represented a very small portion of the overall volume on the Uniswap protocol. Furthermore, they assured users that the decision would not impact the Uniswap interface code or the many other portals or locally run instances used to access the Uniswap protocol. Uniswap Labs also included a full list of the affected tokens in the update. All right, so as uh, far as I can tell, um, this is only this is probably just uh, removed from that list that populates by default. You know, I don't know if you guys have used Uniswap. I'm sure many of you have. Uh, generally, you know, you could look up a token uh, by default. You know, you can you, you, sometimes when you're looking up a more obscure token, you have to enter the contract address manually to trade it on Uniswap. Uh, but there is that default list. There's the default Uniswap list that it gets uh, um, that uh, fills out, I guess, uh, or the, the default reference list. Let's call it that. I guess that is where they're going to remove some of these uh, suspect tokens. So this looked a little more sus on the uh, on the surface, but I guess in reality, there, this isn't a huge barrier to still have uh, access to uh, to most of these tokens that they're quote unquote uh, kind of delisting uh, on the on the DEX itself. So um, there's plenty of other places you can go to get that uh, info right now, and you know there's plenty of other places you can also go to get your uh, your shitcoin fix right now if you want bsc has been popping off this past week or so yeah no kidding bsc uh you know for the yeah, uh, mm -hmm. uh let's see here uniswap had to defend its position on controversial controversial sale of 500,000 of its native uni tokens this month the token involved in the sale were donations to the decisive uniswap defi education fund a fund that's been backing uh, has the backing of the Harvard Law Blockchain and Fintech Initiative. So this is just a little recap. Oh, I didn't realize uh, Uniswap dumped about 500,000 of its tokens on the market, apparently to fund this innovation hub. All right. Yes, they liquidated the tokens for more than 10 million USDC. The tweet noted funds would go toward, yep, yep, yep. This provoked backlash. All right, so I guess there was some drama in Uniswap land over the weekend. There you go. Um... Finally, I have one other item here, and this, of course, relates to uh, there's a bit of a bug in Rune, and or sorry, no, this is not in the room, my mistake. I have to take that back. Uh, no, someone is airdropping UniH tokens to Ethereum addresses. Just ignore it. Do not exchange them on Uniswap. If you approve it for swapping, the contract will drain your wallet. Okay. Um, so I guess this does, uh, this is a glitch actually affecting Thor chain and, uh, yes. Yeah, so if you uh, are a user of the Thor chain and you do keep a diligent eye out for airdrops in your account, beware of this uni H airdrop to Ethereum addresses, some form of an exploit. If you attempt to, uh, swap them, uh, you might very well drain your entire balance here. Uh, let's see here, let's see here. Anything else to add to that? This person here explaining, taking a little look under the hood at the code, explaining how this uh, contract is able to uh, 
Transfer everything out without approval, so be careful, guys, uh, before you engage with some random airdrop token that you think you're going to dump. Uh, be careful with this Uni H one. All right. 137 is about where I got to wrap this item up. I forgot to uh, play some music this entire time. Your oh. voice is music in that. Um, if only, if only. Let's have a look here. That's that's something I I really miss Justin's voice. That guy. It was smooth. That man. Was such a good voice. That man. Sometimes had... when you're working really late, 10 p.m., you just lull me right to sleep. Must be a great. It must be great for his daughter, right? I suppose. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's do it, guys. Finally, one last thing. Sorry for all the daddling here, but here we go. I have this for you today's poll that's right today's community poll uh let's have a look i'm just going to drop the link into the dean live chat here you go guys here is uh, a link to today's community poll of course you can find it on our youtube uh page under the community tab today's poll reads the following with bitcoin and altcoins all putting in a very bullish performance in recent days do you think the bull market is back or is this just a bear trap? Two possible responses to today's poll. First one is bull markets back, baby. New all-time high this year. Yes, is this the bull market continuation? All right. Or second option, bear trap. We still have plenty of more lows to test this year. Are you leaning more you bullish? Bull trap. I think it's bull. Um, yes, I guess I probably did do that. Yes, you're probably right. Uh, Jason thinks it might be both. Yes, I ignore the bear trap, guys. It's a bull trap. That's what I meant to write. Um, edit it? I wish I could. Oh, let me see. Edit this thing. Oh, no, I can only delete. Let me see how many responses we already have to this poll. I'll consider deleting and redoing it. 13 responses. Hopefully, most of you guys will know what I meant to write in this one. Play, uh, here's one reply from Mr. Ether praying for bullish continuation but we're not out of the woods yet certainly not out of the woods yet uh, me personally permabull i'm voting bullish um thank you currently response is kind of split 54 46 percent again this poll might have been tainted by uh my uh my poor wording on the second one but alas there is let me just turn the music down a little bit maybe a little too loud um the last there is your poll guys i do look forward to hearing what everyone thinks the bull market back is this just one epic bull trap you let us know all right enough of that let's get into uh the chat let's see who's kicking it with us this afternoon we're going to get into uh the main analysis in just a couple minutes all right let's hop in over here let's expand out the chat window and who's first in the live chat this afternoon we have dave rice Shout out to Dave on YouTube. He writes, good morning all. It's a fine day to trade. Indeed, it is certainly a fine day and bullish day to wake up to Electric. What's up to everyone? Shout out to Electric on DLive. Ron Legato waving to us on YouTube. Shout out to Ron. Alex1233, let's go, he writes. Let's do it. Alex1233, welcome back. Uh, any word. Heather is number one, he writes. Okay, shout out to Danny Word. Taz Blitz, good evening all. Very good evening to you, Taz Blitz. Alex1233, hello, hello. I think I already mentioned Dark Rico. Shout out to Dark Rico. Welcome back, Dark Rico. Hey, market lovers. Eat. Um, let's see. Taz Blitz already mentioned. Franklin MC writes, good morning. A very good morning to you, Mr. Franklin. Alex1233. I was going to say that, but okay. not going to read that. BDD63. All bears, please just leave the building. Yes, all bears promptly exit. Sit to your left, please. Yes, the bull market is back. No more bears. Uh, Daniel, Daniel on YouTube, I already mentioned it's Money Mondays. It is Money Mondays. In fact, I think after I log off the show today, I am going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend a little bit, pick something up. Thing, things are a little overextended to, well, maybe yeah. extended, just, you know, um, but uh, I might still take the opportunity to, uh, to add something to the portfolio on a, this Money Monday. We can take a look after the show. Indeed. Well, during the course of the show, I'll, I'll see what kind of uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what setups, what kind of signals we'll be seeing. Well, I'll get a feel after I hear Alex's thoughts on the market, um, what I'll do exactly. But let's continue here. Uh, let's see here. I see here a lot of comments about some new guy here. Taz Blitz, uh, Moonboy. Who's Moonboy? Never heard of him. Any word? Over under Bitcoin 42K. Over under Bitcoin 50K by end of the year, he writes. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Jordan Stotts on YouTube writes, yo, shout out to Jordan Stotts. 
Uh, he thinks it's a bear trap. Okay. Or do you mean a bull trap? Where uh, I kind of really uh, confused the matters today with that poll. Crypto Bull 21. Alex called the move on that on point. Well, I guess he did. Yes, Alex. That's off to you. Mike Maker, how's it going, guys? Shout out to Mike Maker. Alex 81 SG asks, is Pax G a good way to invest in gold? I don't know a lot about Pax G, but apparently um, pretty legit. Uh, it's at least, I'm not sure if it's a way to invest in gold or maybe just get exposure to the price of gold. Uh, but we're splitting hairs Alex, here. I think Alex answered him in the chat. Yeah, Alex says it's a good way to trade gold. I don't think I would call it a good way to invest in gold necessarily. Yes, he, Alex pretty much captured exactly my thoughts. Uh, Lambo Dreams, I got some juicy Bitcoin pairings for you guys. Well, uh, I look forward to uh, hearing about them, Lambo Dreams. Uh, yes, as Alex says, do tell. Um, if by uh, juicy Bitcoin pairings you mean requests, uh, yeah, do drop them below. I'll collect them in just a few minutes. Uh, Alex A1SG writes, Bitcoin needs to clear the 20-week moving average and the 21-week EMA for alts to really fly. All right. Uh, Daniel, can you look at um, BNB? Thanks, guys. Okay, hang tight. We'll get to that request in a few minutes. Rhino TD is with us. He says, hope all is well and healthy. Good evening. Good evening to you. And uh, yeah, all is well. Thank you again, Mike Maker. My average buy price is down to 34K. So I'm happy right now. Yes, nothing like being in the profit and uh, yeah, not holding underwater bags. It's a good feeling, Mike Maker. Ron Legato, I was that guy doing 125X. Well, Ron, uh, 125X is oh, that okay. Guy. That guy was yeah. the one from the uh, Discord. Gotcha. Well, um, Ron Legato, um, 125X maybe is suitable in 4X, but uh, yeah, you probably got wrecked here in crypto. Any word um, R and Darrow request? Hang tight. I'll add them to the uh, to the list. Crypto Bull says it's time to trap buyers. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, you know, nothing, you know, but this market could very well be testing the other direction very soon. Um, not seen or heard from you in a while, Rhino TD. Hope is all. Yeah, I haven't seen Rhino TD in a while, but he's back, guys. Uh, Tech Engine on YouTube says hi. All right, we're almost through the comments Rhino here. TD got the COVID. No way. Uh, feeling shite, feeling better now. It's uh, all right. Well, Rhino, best of luck on your recovery. Hope you're doing okay. Boris Bitcoin joins us on DLive. Not popping the champagne bottles. The Bitcoin gets over 65K again, but this move is worth opening a couple cold beers. Yes, Boris Bitcoin. I totally agree with that. It does feel good. Um, you know, even we're not 65K yet, but damn, does it feel good to be in the upper 30s after, uh, yeah, kind of swirling around the toilet. Uh, in the 20s just a week ago right um you know a lot of people who know me as being into crypto a lot of them are like yo so uh, how's bitcoin doing and i think they know that it's you know things are down 50 percent and so they're probably thinking it's panic but it feels good to be uh the price is where it is now don't you love that question from your friends who don't know anything about it like so how's it doing like they don't even uh, they just think that it's either going really bad for everyone or exactly yeah it's I, I don't want to tell them i'm still up you know way way up and uh you know this bitcoin thing and of course these are the same people who when it's at the top they're like should i buy should i buy and you're telling them yeah it, uh maybe average you know maybe put a yeah. small amount here and so, buy a little bit yeah buy a little bit because i think there's a big correction coming is what i told people months ago and uh that's proven to be the case but how many of them do you think bought to bought the dip? They were all excited to buy the the, the top. Uh, now that it's dipped fifty percent, they got cold feet, and uh, they don't want to start averaging in either. So this is goes to show you uh, this uh, not for everyone. Not for everybody. Yeah, uh, Mr. Ether. Ah, sea of green. Indeed, it's a sea of green. Crypto AF twenty seventeen. Hey guys, always glad to hear your voices and wisdom. Please let me know. I'll check that out in just a few minutes uh let's see here i see all these comments guys let's keep the uh the v talk out of the uh, out of the chat guys let's let's keep things kosher man lambo dreams uh brock the chomo going to prison brock the chomo who's brock the chomo <laughs> i'm missing something i don't know who brock the chomo is <laughs> all right i like uh, the name though yeah or maybe is he saying cuomo that's what I no, thought. No, Chomo is in child molester. I just uh, don't know who he's accusing. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Chomo. We should let's just move on. Let's certainly move on from that topic. It's too soon. No, it's not too soon to put your request in. Thank you. I will log that in just a few minutes. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, can you take a look? Yeah, lots of requests coming. Today's a very request active day. Um, looks like I gotta get into the next segment and start collecting these requests, guys. That's it for comments. Jose Alves, I see you as well. Shout outs to you. Ali Sami, Samil, Sami, Danny. Ali Sini, uh, I see you as well. Mikha Smith on YouTube, I see you as well with your request. Thank you, everyone, for your comments and your requests today. We got to get into the next segment. That's requests coming your way right now. Alex, don't mind going live. I'm going to start collecting uh, requests while you uh, take us through the market analysis. Okay. All right, Alex just went live. I'm connecting to it now. Do it. And at the BTC USD perp on the four hour, so we're all synced up, looking good. And let's uh, let's do it. You got it from here. I'm gonna be working in the live chat, getting those requests out. Good luck. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we had a really strong reaction off of this final test at the bottom, just below 30K. This is an area that we had previously been eyeing. Uh, it had been tested in the past with breaks below here. Uh, back, in, uh, back in January of earlier this year. Uh, this area continued to be tested here and here, and then finally, uh, with one more break below, we ended up holding the area. So, uh, this is sort of the edge of where RTA has been you know, kind of telling us to expect to bounce from. Uh, as you recall, we we uh, we took a measured move of this descending wedge, uh, and. This is right around where we would be targeting. Maybe, maybe we've got a little bit more room to move up here. Yeah, like what I posted earlier, I could expect the price cool. even to, to march up even to close to the 48 range. Yeah, I'm interested to see what happens. For now, mm -hmm. uh, this is the this is sort of the edge of the measured move that we uh, we've been we've been eyeing. As you guys know, I don't I don't trade these patterns, but it's nice when they give us confluence with mm -hmm. our other tools and um, and instruments that we use. I, hey, an edge on the market is is an edge on the market. Yeah, I'll take it. So we'll these things, yeah. yeah, these things break up more often than not. That's something. Okay, so at this time, I think it's more likely that we get some sort of pullback towards 35k, um, 36k area, and kind of flush out all the all the late buyers up here. I think that makes a lot of sense. So that could some people in right in this area, maybe break down and uh, yeah, kind of retest 36, 35 area. Okay, we'll, we'll see what happens here. But for right now, I remain bullish, and I think that ultimately pullbacks are to be bought here on Bitcoin. That's that, I think that's my position for right now. If we get pullbacks, maybe I'm wrong about the pullbacks to this area. But yeah, for right now, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm expecting pullbacks still here. But maybe that's what everybody's like waiting for and hoping for, right? We discussed this previously. Like maybe the most pain that could be inflicted on the market is like a really quick bottom. And then we just slowly march upwards while everybody waits for a pullback that they can buy. Yep. Mm -hmm. That slow march up where everyone just keeps shorting all the way up. And we, we already saw that here. I know there were I know there were some people that had to have been shorting this area right here and right here. Cause I even I even thought like, huh, there could be like good one more pullback. And no 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 no. That's not how Bitcoin works. Bitcoin definitely just just melted the face Smack. of anybody who 
basically anybody who shorted after the bottom right here, if they didn't get out of their shorts, they shorted here, 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 here. They're all underwater right now. And, and if they were really certain about this short, they probably shorted several times on the way down here. So yeah. probably got over leveraged. A lot of people got hurt. And I mean, the data even proves it. Yeah. Ethereum here does have a does have a breakout no matter how you want to draw our trend lines you can see you know we tried being very ungracious here but we did we, we did finally break this trend line so at this time I would consider resistance to be support we've got support below us here support below us here and we have we've held our weekly uptrend at this time this is the weekly parabolic uptrend. I'm sorry, this is the three-day uptrend. That's right. Ethereum's is a three-day trend that we have drawn out. That's where I'm getting to this bottom from. Okay. So yeah, we're still holding the parabolic uptrend on Ethereum. We appear to have broken the downtrend. So at this time... Game on. Yeah, I think I'm targeting at least 2,800, maybe maybe 3,000 here on Ethereum. I would like to see a pullback towards uh, 2,150, 2,100, and have uh, resistance be tested as support again. But I ultimately would expect to see that area hold, and if not, I'd expect to see 1,950 hold because this is uh, this is still pretty significant support now at any time if uh if we broke below the uh, the the three-day uptrend then then i would maybe be concerned but i just i kind of don't see that happening and, oh and um i'm just noticing that we do have a, a nice uh three-day bullish divergence right here see we make a lower low on price, but we make a higher low here on our oscillator. That's uh, that's generally a good sign, folks. So, very, very interesting. Very good signs here, at least for a strong retest of resistance on both Ethereum and Bitcoin. We've got a lot of resistance overhead. Bitcoin, we've got you know, basically the entirety of uh, of forty thousand range is our resistance here. Ethereum Bitcoin here ultimately continues to look like a descending triangle. If we were to break below support here at all at uh, 5.6 million sats, Let's let's take a measured move. What would what would that have us be aiming for? Ooh. Retest of the point of control, maybe. Seems a little excessive, right? Let me try this. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Sorry. I uh, trading view is a little finicky when you try and do measurements and uh, measured moves in logarithmic mode. That could make sense, but I think I would be really shocked to see us come all the way, really all the way back down. Maybe ba all the way back down to the linear trend, right? Maybe that's maybe that's what we're looking for here.
That'd be very interesting. Okay, so if this is if this is a possibility, we should see signs of this in Bitcoin dominance, right? After all, Ethereum is the largest trading pair against Bitcoin. Ethereum is like another 15 to 20 percent of the market at any given time. So I we should see signs that Bitcoin dominance is going to be breaking out if we think Ethereum is going to break down against Bitcoin. And likely, uh, if Ethereum breaks down, then we could expect other alts to be breaking down against Bitcoin, which is something that we were looking at earlier on crypto bubbles, right? So the question is, is Bitcoin going to outperform alts going forward for a little while? If so, Maybe we just forget about the alt charts and stuff. We just take a position on Bitcoin um, and then, you know, do the hodl thing until Bitcoin starts trading sideways like Bitcoin does. Bitcoin trades sideways for a while and then boom, alts explode, right? So maybe that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for like a Bitcoin sideways time for alts. So let's mosey on over and take a look at... Bitcoin dominance. Well, that is pretty suggestive, right? Yep. Especially a close up there. Wow. With, yeah. With some pretty hard bullish divergence. Yeah, Early and and yep. this three day candle closes in six hours, folks. Nice. Huh. Jericho. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> big, big, big blowout Bitcoin candle. And then all just dump as everybody FOMOs into Bitcoin. I can that see that is insane possible. This is this is really interesting looking here, isn't it? Yeah. And this would kind of jive with the weekly trend, which as we know is still pointed upwards according to time transformation, right? Wada starting to signal. We're breaking over our weekly moving average. Huh. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Very suggestive. Hmm. So, Ethereum breaking down, Bitcoin gaining value against Ethereum, and possibly a host of other alts. So right now, I think we're going to be want to be looking at Bitcoin pairing charts only, folks. The USD charts, they're all going to be up today, and they're all going to be up because of Bitcoin. We'll look at that a little bit. We'll... we'll We'll glance at them, but I just don't see USD charts as being useful right now. It's like, of course it's up. Of course it is. Because Bitcoin is just that up today. Uh, That being said, uh, so Bitcoin is up 10% today. All right. 10% is like our, uh, excuse me, this two day. This one day. Here we go. Bitcoin is up 10% today. So this is our kind of standard. If something is not up that much, then it's down against Bitcoin. Uniswap, big day today. And we're breaking through this resistance level that we've been eyeing, but Uniswap only up 5% today, not holding value against Bitcoin. Not a great sign. That could mean that Uniswap pairs are not the play here. Back on log mode. One second. Dragon Perp getting that very beautiful bounce off of our logarithmic trend line. Uh, we've talked about that a few times. Resistance pretty far overhead here. This gained 11% today, so a little bit extra here uh, than on Bitcoin. So just a, gaining a little bit against Bitcoin. D5 Perp. I would classify this as at resistance, right? You look right here on uh, on VPVR, and we also see uh, support here, support here. This area is right right now resistance. It's resistance here. 
This will probably break upwards, but we are right at resistance. So I feel iffy about DeFi in this spot. Maybe it's still not DeFi's time to shine, you know? There's only a few DeFi pairs that were up against Bitcoin today. I, I saw synthetics. I saw... Just, just, there was, I mean, there were only a couple. Yeah. See, privacy perp up today, only up 7%. Privacy pairs are down against Bitcoin. Exchange perp up 6% down against Bitcoin. Shit perp, 6% down against Bitcoin. Uh-huh. We'll see, Alex of the past. We'll see. Mid perp. We'll see. Like, remember, this is what I was talking about on Friday. We're looking for just a sweep all the way up to previous resistance up here in these areas, right? So, if we're looking for that on alts, what would that look like on Bitcoin? So, I think we should see Bitcoin kind of typify that. That would put resistance all the way up here at 50k. That would be that same kind of movement. Yeah, I want to. I want to be. I still want to be buying pullbacks on Bitcoin here. If we get pullbacks, I expect to see this to go to forty-five k, maybe fifty k. After that, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we come all the way back down and retest the point of control here at thirty-five, thirty-four, rather. Hmm. This is just very strong support right now. I really think we need to be buying dips here. And a lot of the alt pairs, they just don't look strong enough to justify paying attention to them instead of Bitcoin, right? It's like, why, why take on the extra risk of alt volatility if Bitcoin looks stronger, right? It, does, it doesn't make sense from that perspective. Sometimes it's best to just take the obvious trade that, uh, you know, is in the bigger asset class and just hold on to it, right? Is there any shame in holding on to Amazon or Facebook or Apple as they make new high after new high after new high? No, even though they're the biggest in the market. Bitcoin could experience something like that. So Bitcoin being the biggest in the market... Is a strength in many ways for Bitcoin, I think, is, is just what, what I want to draw your attention to there. So, um, Jack did kind of give up the ghost a little on this, but Dixie, Dixie down today. Very beautiful rejection wicks here. Break down below our daily moving average. Be kind of nice here, but we are still. Um, oh, and time transformation, of course, showing us a lot of topping here. But at this time, I would classify us as still kind of holding this. We haven't really broken down yet. We're still over the area of resistance and support that we had been eyeing. It is a possibility that we have a fake out breakdown here, a fake down, if you would. Uh, and, uh, and we could, we could, we could end up turning this resistance into support, get a springboard here and just move back up. So we're not out of the woods yet on the Dixie, but this is good. This is encouraging. All right. So what's the game folks? What's the game? What's the game? Dollar down. Market up. Market's up. Yeah. Okay, market's up. Let's see. Drum roll. The Pop. Dow is up oh. today. Pop goes the way though. Gapped up, didn't it? Mm. Oh, that was two days ago. Yeah. I would classify it as having held... Gaining support. 
so far. Yeah, this has turned resistance into support. Yep. This is. Let's look at lower time frames here. If we close today up here, it's pretty. Whew. If we close up here today, it's pretty strong. This we've been eyeing as an area of sellers. Very strong here, 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 here. Sellers just lay into price. I mean, look, the moment we come up here the first time, sellers lay in so hard. Everyone's like panicking, right? Boom. Sellers come up here again. All right, buyers come up here to this area again. Sellers are instantly, no, nope, get out of here. Get out of here. But this weekend, we actually, we actually hold this area and we close if we close today up in this new all-time high i would consider that to be pretty bullish here i'm i admit to being really surprised i thought this was very bearish we had this break of the uh we had this break of the uptrend here uh, but I'm gratified if if uh, if the markets, as I've been saying, if the markets continue, then crypto can get part two of the bull market, right? That's what I've been saying. But it just, I didn't see how it was possible. But here we are. We you know, I almost, I almost wonder if this is uh, inverse head and shoulder at this point. If we if that's we hold this area, that's what I was gonna point out. Is that like even though that sell off was super quick, but that could be the right shoulder. That that does kind of look like an inverse head and shoulders. Well, and now we're breaking. Or maybe or maybe it's. I mean, it's just whatever it is. It's rem reminiscent of a top becoming a bottom. M you yeah, could even maybe call this a um, a cup and handle with this being the cup and this being the handle. But but uh, either way, the result would be the same. You you would take a measured move from top to the bottom and then and then you know find resistance from that. Ultimately, I um I just I want to see a few more closes up in this area and then we'll and then we'll talk about this having been that uh it's interesting and it's it's more strength than i was expecting to see here like i said i'm surprised i'm su i admit to being surprised i i will definitely have been wrong if uh if we if we continue onwards here i thought for sure we were gonna we we're gonna have a much stronger pullback Let's see interestingly nasdaq just kind of trading sideways today Oh, whoops. It's possible that we are rejecting from the other side of the uptrend. But the NASDAQ has been so strong. I would just, I want to see more evidence before we decide this is bearish at all, right? Because, yeah. I mean, regardless, it's still just marching upwards, right? Like, we, we broke it, and then, like, within a day and a half, we just already just faded that entire, it's more like three days. We just faded this entire, uh, this entire sell-off, so... Uh, yeah, I just I want to see more signs of bearishness before we think about being bearish at all. Uh, overall, I just I see a lot of strength. Wada wants to lean into it. SMP looking strong. Yeah, this is pretty strong. It hasn't yet reclaimed the uptrend here, but yeah, <clears throat> it seems crazy to be bearish in this spot. I just, I just don't see any reason to be bearish.
Let's look at this on the weekly. Yeah, look at look at last week's weekly close. What reason is there to be bearish on the spy? None. Yeah. Zero. Look at that weekly close. That is just a butte. Tight pattern. Okay, you know, this still feels like the better trend line, doesn't it? Yeah, coming back up and testing the bottom as resistance. I mean, it, it just, it feels like the better trend line, but if so, it's like not helpful. It wants you to exit here and then there's a whole nother 10 or 20% move upwards. Yeah. Not too bad. Maybe the three day makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, if we if we break up here, it could be utter insanity. What if we just break up against all odds, against a wall of worry, against the economy being really shitty. What if they, you know, what if they pump the market even more? Let's... I'll do a measured move from here to here. Let's... Let's say we break upwards. Oops. Out of this. Alright, well, if we start to break here, that's where we'll look for resistance on the S&P 500. 460s. With that, with that SPY, yeah, the SPY ETF. 460. Uh, now, this is still an if. This is still an if. But, like I said, the weekly closes are strong. And the three-day close, this one right here, this happens in an hour and a half. And that's strong. I don't care who you are. That's strong. Well. Alright, so if... If the markets look primed to be bullish, then... Should we be looking for a pullback in bond markets? Let's take a look real quick. It's likely. Ooh. Well, this is... There we go. Well, this area has been resistance in the past, so this makes sense that we're experiencing resistance in this spot. We do have a bearish divergence here. Higher high on price, lower high on our oscillator. We don't have a break of trend or anything yet. There's nothing that I would... That's not what I want. nothing super bearish here on 30 year pumps. I think we could probably look to one more push up here. That would actually make more sense to me. Uh, 
Five year, hanging out at Resistance. Could go either way. Two year, hanging out at Resistance. Alex in the past, from early July, thought we would break down at Resistance, so we'll keep our eyes on this. Ten year at resistance that we've been eyeing. Hmm. I do think I'd like to see us push up here one more time, but we've got that same bearish divergence here as we do on 30 year. Interesting. So the world markets not looking as hot as the United States markets today, right? Taiwan, here we go. We do get this breakdown of the uptrend. This looks really rough here. This is prime shorting territory. It's just such a beautiful spot to be shorting from, right? There's so many trap buyers here. So many trap buyers in this area. Yeah, that's very reminiscent of the uh, 59K play that we were uh, looking at with Bitcoin a while ago. You're right. This is a lot like the Bitcoin top where we had this topping behavior. We broke down and then we wandered back up. I think we wandered to a lower high on Bitcoin. And this was a slightly higher high on uh, the Taiwan index. But overall, this is a slightly reminiscent trade. Yeah, man. Can this is just this is like a contract for a difference. This is not shortable for Americans. But God, if you're not American, Short the crap out of this contract for me and just I get tip us out or something. God, it's just such a good short tip opportunity. Out here. Hmm. And that, so you can even see uh here we go on time transformation. We continue to make lower highs here while making higher highs on the Taiwan index here. Boom, boom, boom. Lower high, lower high, higher high, higher high. I'm telling you, man, it's just such a beautiful shorting opportunity here. Singapore still kind of looking toppy, but we 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 are currently over my previously drawn uh, downtrend line. So maybe we can continue to retest the highs here. Or maybe we're trapped under the point of control. Remains to be seen. Netherlands are strong here. Netherlands continues to show, show strength. This is this is long territory. This is uh this is potentially us turning uh having successfully retested support, turning previous resistance right here at 735 into support. Japan, not so hot. Trapped under resistance. India, still at resistance, still sideways. I don't want it yet. I'm surprised it hasn't broken down more, but... It could go either way at this time. Time transformation really starting to reset itself here, though. Yeah, look at the three-day here. We got a strong three-day close above this resistance level, then that would be interesting. But we haven't... We're not quite over it yet. Or are we? Hmm. Very interesting. All right, well, it's about that time. Oh, is it? Okay. Let's yeah. go ahead and check the requests. Right. It's 20 after. We got a decent amount of requests to knock out today, so it's going to have to be it. It's going to have to be it. Yes, oh. sir. Okay. Way to keep us in line, Jack. 
All right. Uh, yeah, let's do it, guys. Yes, I do have to leave some room to do these requests. Um, Daniel's asking who's walking around. My mic was unmuted. Sorry about that. But uh, it's all good now. Uh, Mr. NC joins us on the YouTube live chat. He says, what's the best crypto to bet the house on? No, no, we don't do any kind of uh, degenerate. Bitcoin. Uh, spy, buy BTC, stack it, and... Uh, yeah, but that's not because we're Bitcoin maxis. It's because the chart looks good, okay? Don't get us wrong. We're technical analysis junkies, not Bitcoin junkies. I'll also add... Um, Yes, uh, don't go betting the house on uh, anything. Uh, tread responsibly at all times, guys. This is how we do it yeah, here. But with that said, said, with that said, with that said, we're going to have to go ahead and get into the first request of the day. I'm just going to quickly put that up on the screen now. Go. First request comes in from Daniel. He writes, can you look into... I'm not sure why he wrote ping in brackets, but uh, BNB. What do you mean by Daniel? We're going to look at BNB as your request, but uh, if you want to clarify what this. Us and letting us know. I, I yeah. Worry about it. I, that's what I'm kind of figuring, but uh, kind well, of weird. Daniel, let us know. BNB it is. Well, BNB is up today. And I'll tell you, I do believe that it could continue to move up towards resistance here. But is it stronger than Bitcoin? Right? Right? That's the question. BNB yeah, all Bitcoin. the USDT pairs are going to look strong. That looks terrible. Oh, oh, this looks like AIDS, buddy. Yep. Just say no. It's like a pretty strong rejection here on BNB. I would say if we close underneath this area right here on the three day on BNB, I would definitely not want to be in there. This is really reminiscent of a. Uh, like a descending triangle, more like like this. Yeah. So I would be, I would just be rather be in Bitcoin, right? This chart is telling us that right now it's better to just be in Bitcoin. What's next? All right, uh, I have another question here concerning BNB. Since we're looking at the BNB chart, let's look at, um, where is look it? Look how overextended BNB here is against Bitcoin. Come I, on. I believe it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Rhino TD in the Dean Live chat asks, uh, good evening. I'm looking for an entry on BNB USD. Do you think it will pull back to $300? Yeah, what is your uh, thoughts on entries? Will we see $300 BNB? Potentially, there's a nice point of control right there. Uh, I guess it really depends on how hard the market moves up here. It's yeah. worth, it's worth. Gosh, yeah, yeah I think it's worth giving a three hundred dollars a shot. I like three hundred and six dollars. It's kind of the top of this range right here. Boom, boom, boom. That way you know for sure. But then again, this is the point of control. If we head down here, we'll probably just bounce off it. Yeah, sure. $303, $302-ish. This is fine. What's next? All right. Well, that covered the two B&B &B requests from today. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. It's for uh, any word on DLive. He wants to look at our Pirate Chain and Darrow. Our. There we go. We've got the downtrend broken here. We got it broke. Very nice. They look strong. So, um, I believe that I, I recall what I said last time, that we were looking to hold the two dollar range, and that because we had held the two dollar range, buying in this area was probably a good idea, and you could set your stop below the low here, below two dollars, because you'd want to be out. That seems to have been a good strategy. Right now, we've broken this downtrend. I think I would like to see us come down and retest $2.45, $2.50. See that area hold, and then kind of springboard all the way up to three and a half, four dollars here on Pirate. 
that still makes a lot of sense. That's the area, that's the area I think we're eyeing now that we've got this breakout here. Um, this looks like it is a stronger breakout than Bitcoin. Let's look at this versus Bitcoin. That's, that's still the number one question. Is this stronger than Bitcoin right now? That's the number one question you should be asking yourself, folks. I think that looks stronger than Bitcoin. We got a breakout here too. I think it looks like a killer trade here. Even against Bitcoin. So a measured move here would take us. Oh, this is log. Make sure to run linear here. It's still roughly the same trade, even on linear. That's good. That bodes well, I think, for the trade. Yeah. I agree. We'll see. Control V. All right. So we're not even looking to take this to like a new all time high against Bitcoin. It's kind of like a retest of the highs. That's fine. This is like a huge move against Bitcoin. I like it. I like this. I like the pirate trade here. So, uh, yeah, I think I think it, I think uh, if you can get it on that pullback that we were talking about towards two dollars and fifty cents, it could be a good trade here, even against Bitcoin. But BNB, not so much. What's next? And that's always good confluence too. Like I was uh, saying earlier in the chat, like if you see a USDT pairing and then you go look at the BTC pairing, it looks just like garbage. It's usually a sign of the, the strength in Bitcoin, but also you want to look for confluence when you see Bitcoin pairs and USDT pairings matching each other, because that's yeah. usually a good sign of a, a, a good signal. Yeah. All right, next. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you, of course, for a look at Pirate Chain. It's certainly looking good. Uh, Darrow, Darrow was the other half of any words request. Okay. Pretty strong looking, isn't it? Marching up like everything else. It's just a little late to take this on the one day. Is there a reason I... You really could have taken this on... Uh... This is a signal on Saturday that could have been taken. Not by my system. Look at that. Three days. This is a very strong signal. I think Darrow looks ready to go into price discovery here. Yeah. Let's take a look against Bitcoin. This is ready. Yeah, that looks ready. Stair stepping. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I think Daryl looks like it's about to go into price discovery. It looks like it's going to hold its own against Bitcoin. I say, I say jam it. <laughs> I like, let me, let me remind myself to go buy some Darrow later. Yeah, I think Darrow looks like it may very well go into price discovery here on the USD pairing and the Bitcoin pairing looks strong. Uh, it's interesting. It's an interesting trade. Where's our uptrend here? Yeah, this uh, this could even be going parabolically parabolic here. We'll see if this holds right here. If if so, it's going to be a banger. What's next? All right. Well, let's hop into the next request. 
Uh, what do we have? We have Doge. Uh, Ali Senail on SNA over on YouTube. Is it too soon for requesting Doge or Litecoin? No, you're right on time. Let's look at Doge. Bit back. Good day on Doge. Slightly better than Bitcoin. Uh, I fully expect us to march up towards 25, 26 cents, and maybe even towards 35 cents. Feels like that's really where our resistance is. What about Doge Bitcoin? Tell me, what's the Bitcoin pairing? It looks like garbage. Mm, not so great. I just don't see a break of any real downtrend yet here. I mean, eh, maybe, maybe there. Doesn't make a lot of sense. What about linear? It's basically the same. All right. Yeah, this really just feels like we're just going to keep losing value against Bitcoin here. I don't see any reason to take Doge at this time. If we can get a stronger move on Doge and we, we get like a movement here of Doge against Bitcoin, then we'll talk. But for now, why not just Bitcoin? What's next? All right, uh, we have Litecoin. Yes, the other half of the request related to Litecoin, and then we'll get into the next one. I like how that's starting to play right into that uh, line. Mm. Alex of the past, you sly devil. Remember, I actually drew the $100 buy zone all the way up here, if you folks will remember, based off of VPVR. VPVR, folks. I'll get you. Mm. Well, I, I guess we'll we'll just expect this to play out like past me thought it will. We'll see. Uh, we're expecting a move towards at least 175 here. Although I admit that uh, we could also move as high as uh, 200, 215 range. I really like this area of resistance and support now. We'll see. So the question is, what about the Bitcoin pairing? Because, yeah, of course it can move up here. Everything's moving up because of Bitcoin. No bueno. That's actually really disappointing. So, yeah, at this time, it's actually kind of a do or die moment here for Litecoin Bitcoin. Could end up going into price discovery against uh, against Bitcoin negatively, like we like Litecoin has never lost this much value against Bitcoin before. Maybe we've got more data elsewhere. Oh, even all the way back to 2016. This area right below us this is the final area of support. What is that? 300,000 cents? 3 million cents? Yeah, 300,000 cents. Is that a limit order? Man, I haven't... I should just clean this. It's interesting. Hmm. What's the weekly look like? 
Oh, let's put on the monthly. I mean, this isn't a very healthy looking monthly candle. No. Yeah, at this time, I just, I can't recommend Litecoin against Bitcoin here. We're just, we're still in a downtrend. And, uh, and we're, we're just near the lows. Maybe it's this possible. could be the spring, who knows? Yeah, this could be the week that Litecoin turns around against Bitcoin, but it hasn't yet. So let's just keep our eyes on it. What's next? All right, there was an extensive look at Litecoin. Let's get into the next request. All right, that earlier one from Daniel concerning Ping. I got some clarity on one, on that one. There is indeed a uh, a project called Sonar. Its ticker is Ping. You're gonna have to load up the uh, chart X. Okay. Load up the sure. chart X for this one. Look up Ping. Guys, this is Chardex's new dashboard. Very clean. I was wondering what you're doing there. Yes. This is brand new. I am helping to beta test it. I know part of you got you guys can't see the screen over to the part of the right. Like we're not set up to do this yet. But um, it's incredibly helpful in finding stuff, so. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, it's definitely a little late for us. I guess if I were you, I would just hold on tight, buddy, if you're in this. Still relatively low cap, fully diluted. It's still a $1.7 million project. That's fair. Um, but I generally do not buy things right after Big giant they public. have pumped... How many percent? 700. 700. All right. Well, I don't know much there is to say on that one, Daniel, but thank you for bringing Ping to our attention. Hopefully uh, this does well for you guys. Indeed, we don't buy things, I think, pumped this hard in this short a time. But uh, still a relatively small project. I can... Wait, how do I switch which one? There we go. I'll add this one to my watch list, and we'll keep our eyes on it cool. going forward. All right, brilliant. Let's go ahead and uh, continue to the next one. We will have to probably up the pace. We have a lot of requests today. Um, let's do it. Uh, Ali over on YouTube, can you take a look at Hot as well? Hollow Chain. Of course. Mm. Nice little pump out there. Nice break of our descending broadening wedge right here leads to a uh, yes, nice break of our descending broadening wedge here leads to uh, a break of the downtrend. I uh, I think we're looking at a retest of one cent. That's I think that makes good psychological sense here. Um, what would a measured move here give us? on log let's get down the linear this will make sense in a second uh this would suggest that we would get a move all the way back towards this resistance support level that's kind of interesting all right, so these are really, uh, and this is 1.5 cents. So 1 cent and 1.5 cent seems to be the areas of resistance and support that uh, that we should be eyeing here. That's 100 and 200 percent moves. Well, we all know how hot it is, but yeah, what about the Bitcoin pairing? Should we Bitcoin? Is, do they even have it anymore? Yes, on Huobi. Womp womp. Hi, caramba. No, this is Hydro Protocol. This is not Holochain. 
Yeah, I was going to say, I thought they pulled it, but I don't know. We'll measure it against Ethereum. Yeah, that's the way I had to trade it. Ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, that looks like a good uh, break of trend there. With a, quite a high potential for gain there. Yep, it's a break of the downtrend here. Okay, I give Holochain the thumbs up. Holochain could do better here than uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, okay. This one gets my thumbs up. What's next? All right, Bitcoin currently on the move. 39,844, still rising. We're officially cresting over uh, the top of the wick. From, I want to uh, overtake 40. Yeah, we're going to overtake 40 at this rate. Let's keep okay. an eye on it. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get into the next request. Actually, I'm going to introduce the next request, and I'm going to prepare to open the chest, guys. We're about two minutes to go to open the DLive chest, so dear DLive users, get ready. The DLive lemons are coming your way in just a minute. Here is the next request, Alex81SG on DLive. Can you look at ADA Ethereum? All right, Cardano Ethereum pairing. Uh, it looks bad. This is the way I see it. Yeah. There we go. It makes a little bit more sense on the weekly, but one way or another, I see this as a break of the uptrend. I see us breaking down below our moving averages and breaking back below this all important resistance and support level. So. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Support briefly. Wait, no. Now it's going to be resistance again. Boom. We go right back down into hell here. So I, I think this is a theory. Uh, we're just going to move back into this trading range that we've held for the last two years. It's time to be back in Ethereum. What's next? All right. What's next is the chest opening, guys. Uh, I am, yeah, like... All right, I'll give it say, another 30 seconds. All right, in about 30 seconds, I'm going to open a chest. Probably around the time you hear me give you this alert. That uh, You should be looking at your DLive window for that uh, distribution. That said, in about 20 seconds, I'm going to open the chest. In the meantime, I'm going to introduce the next request. McCaw Smith on YouTube requesting Theta. Theta's up, and I'm opening the chest in 10 seconds. Good luck, everyone. Theta making a beautiful recovery back over our uh, weekly parabolic trend here. It's a very close one. Mm. Theta's not in a great place right now. This is previously an area of uh, resistance that we had been eyeing. Now we're back at resistance. A little overextended on our uh, a little overextended on time transformation here. And yeah, and, and look, everything is up like ten or twelve percent today, but theta is trading sideways today. We gotta look at the Bitcoin pairing here, right? Mm -hmm. Bitcoin pairing. Bitcoin pairing. Ugh. That is not so great. But for right now, I just don't see a good reason to want to be in uh, Theta. If we can recover back over uh, 170,000 sats here, 175,000 sats, then it could make sense. But 
we do appear to be rejecting here. It's going to be a very strong uh, bearish engulfing candle today. We're probably going to get some follow through here. Should pull time transformation under. Yeah. I think we could see Theta continue to lose some value here against Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. I think the trade is Bitcoin here. What's next? All right, quickly announcing the today's big lemon giveaway winners. Rhino TD with 107 lemons. Any word with 62. Boris Bitcoin with 48. Taz Blitz, 36 lemons. Crypto Bull with 30. Much thanks to everybody who contributed. Do enjoy your lemon proceeds. Uh, of course, come back tomorrow. We'll be giving away more DLive lemons as always. Thank you, everybody. Of course, contributes and everyone who hands out the subs and all that. In the meantime, let's get into the next request guys we uh, not to rush alex along but we got a few requests still left let's uh, double time through these next few we have uma bitcoin pairing uh mr ether writes this is for a discord user okay somebody in the discord i think requested this by way of mr ether um, looks like bitcoin is the right choice at this time Yeah, no signs of a bounce as of yet. I I think uh, Bitcoin is the better trade. Yep. What's next? All right, there was a look at Uma Bitcoin, guys. I promise we'll try to get these last few requests done. Matic, Matic from Mike Maker. Uh, this is our area of resistance and support we need to break over. We do still have a little bit of resistance overhead here, but this is a stronger move upwards than Bitcoin. What's our Bitcoin pairing look like? Hmm. Not terrible, but no water there at all. It's, you know, I guess seems, it's okay. Seems trapped. I guess this makes a little sense we could we could gain value here against bitcoin what if it's you know what if it's sending wedge here we just tapped 40k on by bit noise yep uh let's take a look yes we did of the usdt pair at least pulled back since yep we'll see we're probably likely to get pretty volatile here especially if we break up above 40. i love it don't hate it i guess I don't know, this is such a big shelf of volume right here. I just kind of want to wait to see what happens. Uh, for now, Matic is okay, but it's just not a large enough movement against Bitcoin here for me to be seriously looking at Matic yet. I still think Bitcoin might be the better trade, but Matic did gain against Bitcoin a little bit today. We'll see. I want to see more movement out of Matic. What's next? Word. All right. Let's try to knock out these last couple of requests. Still appreciate everybody hanging in there. Next one up is Lit. Uh, this is Lit Entry for Chili and Lime. He says, can we look at Lit if possible? Lum Lambo Dreams wants to look at Lit Bitcoin as well. So dual pairing. Okay. Hmm. Interesting volume coming in here. I don't like how much it's getting sold into currently, but yeah. I just don't think I'm ready to take this one yet. This one could still have more downside. 
at least on Binance. Is there, maybe there's a better, let's take a look at it on PancakeSwap. neat feature I guess it's basically the same chart I don't know. I guess I'm just I'm just not convinced. We're we're at resistance right now. Like this entire area kind of being resistance. I haven't broken the downtrend. I just don't see it yet, guys. What's next? All right, there is your look at uh litten tree thank you very much for that request guys let's go ahead and uh, let's answer this question here boris bitcoin writes uh, i got more of a general question i see a lot of good signals on usd pairs but when i look at the bitcoin pairing they look like ass what do you guys do in such a dilemma we kind of loosely covered this earlier what do you think oh um i i thought it would be obvious guys uh, yeah if the bitcoin pairing looks like crap don't take the trade yeah, why, you're going to lose value. You, yeah, I just gave a big speech about this. Why would you take something when you could just take Bitcoin, which is the obvious trade? If if the Bitcoin pairing is doesn't look good, just, you know, put more money into Bitcoin. Be like, oh, this all looks like, oh, I'll just put more money into Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, just, just you know, that's why we're looking at the Bitcoin pairings. That's that's what matters here. If, it, if the Bitcoin pairing looks like crap, it's not worth taking. All right, there is a rough response to that one. Of course, we did kind of cover this uh, this concept a little earlier in today's show. So hopefully, Boris Bitcoin kind of covers that question. All right, Toes in the Sand is next. Toes writes, I'm in on DOT around $13.5. Uh, good take profit levels for USDT. All right, so he's asking for some take profit advice after getting in on DOT around 13 and a half. Okay. Thirteen and a half, so roughly this area here. Okay. Yep. I mean, I'd probably be looking to take profits somewhere around sixteen fifty, maybe eighteen dollars, somewhere up in this general area, kind of the resistance here or the support resistance area up here. I mean, I can see it's continuing to push up towards at least the point of control, so I wouldn't dump it in this area yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice 30-40% move to capture some gains on. Yeah, and then the weekly here does not look bad on DOT either, right? Look at that. It's a very nice looking bullish divergence along with a time transformation signal. In fact, this could carry us all the way up towards twenty-one dollars. I like this area uh, on the weekly. There's a lot of volume up here. So we come up here, we dump a bunch of volume up into this resistance area. People get very bullish, and then another leg down. I like that. I mean, I don't like that like that, but you know what I mean. I, that's that makes sense here. All the way up here, and then boom. And, and that is kind of what we're expecting on a lot of the other alts, right? We were we were drawing that out on some of the alt perps. Movement all the way back up towards resistance. Bam. Slam back down. Yep. Um, all right. So those are some ideas on where you can take profit on DOT. What's next? Okay. Well, that covers the DOT request for Toes in the Sand. Hopefully that helps. 
Got a couple minutes still left in the show. With any luck, we'll knock out these remaining requests. It's uh, CryptoBull21. Wants to look at 1 inch and ZRX. All right, 1 inch. Do it. Well, certainly, weekly time transformation is in love with this spot. Depending on how this week ends, of course. You know, one inch pulls back just a little bit today. This could even be a long signal for us. It's a little overextended though, past our qualifying line. If you really like the trade, I might not let that get in the way. But the question is, what about the Bitcoin pairing? Hmm. We need some sort of bounce here before or that's going to make sense. Right now, I got kind of a break below support. I'd be cautious here. It could be better just to take a Bitcoin trade. It was one inch and what? ZRX. Same story. This is a very nice spot here. We're we'll looking to take this back towards a dollar, maybe even a dollar twenty-five. Let's see. A dollar is a nice area of support resistance right here. But what about the Bitcoin pairing? Yeah, it didn't look that hot. I'm getting a little bit of signs of rejection here. Yeah. Um, there's a chance that we hold this trading range, but there is also a chance that ZRX just continues to lose value against Bitcoin. We do see that regularly for alts here in the markets where you think that the alts are going to hold their value against Bitcoin and then they don't. Bitcoin just takes off. Um, I know it's kind of a meme and Bitcoin maxis talk about how alts just don't hold their value against Bitcoin. But that's true for a lot of them. I mean, so far as ERX has not really. Not since, you know, there's a... It got big in 2018, and since then, ZRX has not held its uh, held its own against Bitcoin at all. Not even really through the alt season, right? So I'd be very cautious here. What if Bitcoin takes off and just leaves all the alts behind here? Very possible. We'll yep, ZRX being among them. All right, uh, the clock just struck three. Let's say we got five minutes left in the show. Let's cover this last request or two. Lambo Dreams requesting BitTorn token, Bitcoin pairing. Please and thank you. All right. Welcome. B B B BTC, let's do it. Ooh. This looks kind of ready, doesn't it? Yeah, descending channel breakout. Not quite there yet, but it's getting damn close. Well, this is a breakout. I classify it as breakout. Yeah, that's a breakout. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. It's interesting. Yeah, BTT had a big day today. Mm -hmm. It did. It gained against. It gained a lot against Bitcoin. This is this trade has potential. What's next? All right, last one up, or maybe it's the second last one up. Either way, let's take a look here. Uh, we'll see how we make out on this one. Uh, Lambo Dreams writes potential Adam and Eve bottom setting up on Energy Web Bitcoin. All right, EWT BTC. We're going to move to wrap the show in just a couple of minutes. Uh, well, maybe we are kind of hanging out in the volume of this wick right now. If we recover, it could be, it could be pretty nice. I agree. Sellers seem pretty exhausted there. Yeah. Next. Yeah, speaking of coins depreciating against Bitcoin, huh? Um, let's take a look here. Final request of the day, guys. Let me just check the live chat here, see if we missed anything. Nope. All right, final request of the day. This is it. A very generous uh, allocation of time by Alex today. We're going to look at SFP Bitcoin if you have time. Ask Lambo Dreams. Yeah, we got just a minute left. We can... Feels good scratching off the last request. SFP. Yeah, I do kind of like this. I think it'd be, I think it would make sense to at least take this all the way up towards uh, 34 whatever it's of a cent. Or no, this is, uh, that's, oh, that's 3,400 sats, okay. 3,400 sats, 3,300 sats. Then I'd also be looking towards uh, 5,500. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. What's next? Oh, that's right. We're done. Yeah, All we're right. done, man. It's uh, four after three, guys. Another two hour installment of the Breaking Bitcoin Market Update in the bag. Thanks again, everybody who kicked it with us this afternoon. You guys uh, excited about the price action as I am. Electric on D Live Rights. This does feel like one of those days where tomorrow will be a big red candle taking away most of today's gains. Uh, maybe. I don't know how I uh, feel about it. I uh, kind of lean toward I a... More upside. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm leaning toward that. Exactly. The bullish continuation narrative. But it's going to be another day where the market giveth and taketh away. Well, I guess we will certainly find out and cover it on uh, the Tuesday installment of the Breaking Bitcoin Update. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same channel. You know how we do. All right, very briefly now, we are going to cover one other item here, and that's going to be... Let's check in on that poll. Let's see here. How many people responded? Um, Didn't to, you say you had a story for us? <laughs> um, which one? I don't know. You said at the beginning something to do with an exchange or something. Oh, um, it might have been that uh, th news item I neglected to cover, and that's, of course, FTX uh, announcing uh, removing 100x leverage. Uh, oh. Something we, If that's what I'm thinking of that I neglected to cover. Oh, well, no, I talked about it at the beginning. Yeah, Alex did talk yes. about that. He did talk about it, and then I was going to cover the news story on that topic, but I kind of didn't get to it. But we covered roughly, it, unless it's something else I'm uh, missing. But... No, that's it. Uh, let me see here. Can I get the uh, the poll on screen? I think I can. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's get this poll up here. Let's see how today's uh, today's responses to the poll have fared. Let's do it. So let's just quickly transform, reset, and here we go. All right. Here's a look at today's poll, guys. And what do we have here? We got the following. Oops, let me just quickly fix this a little bit. All right, today's poll, of course, is uh, with Bitcoin and altcoins all putting in a very bullish performance in recent days. Do you think the bull market is back or is this a bear trap? That is the question we're asking today. Let me, uh, sorry guys, let me just fix this because I kind of managed to screw up the placement on screen. 
Here we go. We're good. Um, all right. So, of course, two responses to this poll are available to you. Bull market is back, baby. New all-time high this year. Yes. Do you think this is the start of the big rebound? Did you buy the 50% correction? Are we going to go up from here and hit new all-time highs? If you're bullish, click the first option. Second option is, uh, well, it's supposed to read bull trap. This is a bull trap. We still have plenty more lows to test this year. Are you leaning? Bearish. Man, our poll is in the exact same spot where I left it. Much more votes. But the breakdown is about the same. 52% say bull market's back. 48% say more lows to test this year. Guys, if you want to put the poll over the top, hitting the like button really helps. And heck, leave a comment like uh, Mr. Ether here uh, playing, praying for bullish continuation. Robert Lowry says, come on, ice cream. <laughs> okay. And Mikaw Smith, it's okay. I knew what you meant. Thank you, Mikaw, for knowing what I meant. All right, guys, that's the poll for today. I'm going to check in on the results one more time tomorrow. We'll come back to you with another poll as well. So that's it. Another day done. Another day of polls. Another day of you know, checking what our audience thinks is happening next. All right, that's about it. I'm going to finally shout out premium. Premium.crackingcryptocurrency.com. You can find out all of our premium offerings. Become a premium member. Show your support and get access to, well, plenty of amazing uh, materials signals um uh, pathways to profits course the wednesday community mentorship sessions man there's and of course the members launch too on discord and so many goodies uh do check out that premium with that said the guys uh not much more to add finally there was one user who came in a little late here i'm just going to shout out that boy quick on twitch uh i know you requested litecoin and i did mention to you in the chat requests or sorry requests, timestamps timestamps do come your way uh, shortly after we wrap. Uh, so do check out the YouTube video. Uh, within 30, 60 minutes, generally, we add timestamps to that. So you can quickly reference your favorite coins, whether it was Litecoin or some other token that we covered today. You can easily reference that and more by checking out the timestamps in that YouTube video. All right. Not much more to add. We got to wrap here. Um, peace out. Much love to you all. Final words for analysts. Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Yep. Bitcoin's the thing to do and to be in right now and i think we're about to overtake 40k again so it should be an interesting ride but make sure you're managing your risk correctly don't get too caught up in your own lower time frame uh biases Word. i think the play is bitcoin to the upside here for now so, 40, just yep, 40, yep 40,100 just reached I, on tight, <laughs> boys we are rocking bitcoin. i hate to like log on Yep, I hate to log off here, but this is where we're going to go. 40,200 and climbing. And counting. Bulls. Goodbye. The bulls are in control, right, gentlemen. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Have a good one.